I want to talk about the two problems at the bottom of page 7. These are really different questions. They don't ask you, they're not giving you two similar solids this time. They're saying what happens, um, this first one says what happens to the volume of a pyramid if you triple the height. So you have this pyramid, you have a volume, what's going to happen to that volume if you now triple the height? I can't even show you this one, okay? What's going to happen? Um, really what this is is an, a balancing an equation. You're going to look at this algebraically. So you're going to get your formula sheet and you're going to say, okay, what shape am I looking at and what formula am I looking at? So let's get our formula sheet. Whoops, here we go. So I'm going to find my pyramid. I'm going to find my pyramid and I'm going to look at the volume formula. I'm going to go ahead and write it down actually. So the volume of a pyramid would be found with this equation. Okay, so what this is saying is what's going to happen to the volume if I triple the height? So if your formula is all multiplication like this, okay, what you have to think about is that if you do something to one side of the equation, remember I talk about this balance beam um, scale all the time, if I do something over here to the height, what's going to happen over here to the volume? Okay. All right, if it's all multiplication, because we're just thinking about order of operations here, if it's all multiplication, if you take your height right here, triple means times three. So if I take that height and I multiply it by three, what's going to happen to this side? Well, because it's all multiplication, multiplying the height by three will multiply this side by three. So whatever happens to one side of the equation, the same thing happens to the other side. Okay, so the question is what's going to happen to the volume if I triple the height? It's going to happen, the same thing's going to happen to the volume, whatever it is. So it will triple the volume. Okay, so sometimes they're really like that easy. Um, what would it look like in the event that it's not going to have the same relationship to both sides of the equation? Let's look at this one. Let's look at your cone formula and again the volume. So I'm going to come over here, find my cone, and I'm going to write down the formula. Volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared times h. All right. And so now I'm thinking about that balancing of my equation. That left and right side, whatever happens to one side, happens to the other side. So what am I doing this time? This time I'm taking the radius, okay? Here's my radius, and double, double means times two. So I'm going to take that and multiply it by two. Okay, well here's where it's going to get a little bit trickier because this has an exponent. So order of operations, and when I keep talking about order of operations, I'm talking about PEMDAS. Oh, we haven't seen that for a while, right? So in this one, because it was all multiplication, we were all at the same step. Here, it's parentheses, I don't have any exponents. Oh, exponent happens first. So before all that multiplication happens, the radius is going to get squared. So now I have to think about whatever I do to the radius, which was... I doubled it, I now need to take that exponent, and that's the relationship that's actually going to happen. So it's actually going to end up multiplying by 2 squared is 4. So what actually happens to this side, because that radius now has been quadrupled times 4, is that side will be times 4. So what happens to the right happens to the left. So what happens to the volume? If I double the radius, it will quadruple the volume. Okay? Um, it, you know, it doesn't get much more complicated than that. You might be told, you know, how do you, how do you double the volume? You know, if I had this equation, I would double the volume by doubling the height, not the radius. Right? The further out you get in um, anything round, the more volume you're adding. Anyway, there's, there's some more practice of these in the reviews, so you can see if you understand it when you get to the reviews.